This is an overview of your contact screen. We're going to briefly go over each of the tools available to you to help you successfully manage your contacts. First, let's talk about advanced tools. Advanced tools is a term used for a wide range of tools available on your Elastic Email account. Which tools are available on your contact screen depends on whether advanced tools is enabled on the account. Enabling advanced tools unlocks a wide range of features. If advanced tools is disabled, the tools on your contact screen are limited to the overview graph, adding contacts, showing all contacts, viewing contacts by status, viewing limited general contact info, and creating web forms. So let's look at adding contacts. There are several ways to add contacts to your account. The first is to simply send them an email. If you send an email using the SMTP Relay or the API, even if the account is set up to be used only for that purpose and Advanced Tools is disabled, every contact you send to is added to the account and can be viewed there. The second is to upload a CSV file of your contacts directly to the account. This method is the best way to add contacts to your account in bulk. The upload tool will guide you through the process. The third way is to use the Quick Add tool and you can add contacts to the account one at a time. The fourth way is to build a web form. Contacts that use the web form will automatically be added to the account. Let's look at lists versus labels. Labels are static sets of contacts, while lists are sets of contacts that dynamically change based on the list query. An example is when a CSV file is uploaded, it is added to an existing label or a new one. The particular set of contacts does not change and remains static under that label. A list is completely dynamic and only ever contains the contacts that match the list query. A simple example is the engaged contacts list, which is available by default on most accounts with advanced tools enabled. This list only ever contains contacts with an engaged status. This is an extremely powerful tool that allows sophisticated segmenting of contacts based on a wide range of attributes. Let's take a look at the list drop-down and graph option. At the top of the contact screen on the left, there is a drop-down labeled lists. This will allow you to select which list you want to display as a graph. Because lists are dynamic, they can change over time. The graph gives a visual representation of the list changes over the last 30 days. Let's look briefly at the web form. Using a web form to gather subscribers is one of the best ways to add contacts to the account. Use the Create drop-down and select the web form option to start building one. A more in-depth guide to the web form builder can be found in another tutorial. Let's look at the Randomized Label tool. The Randomized Label tool will create a specific number of random contacts from any label or list. The tool will allow you to specify the name of the new label being created and the number of random contacts to be added to it from the label or list that is currently selected. There is an option to exclude blocked contacts if you only want active and engaged contacts in the new label. Let's look at the nth selection label tool. The nth selection tool is very handy if you need to evenly break up an existing label or list. The tool will evenly distribute contacts into a specific number of different labels. The tool will allow you to specify the name of the label series and specify the number of labels to be created. As an example, let's say you have a list named List A with 100,000 contacts in it, and you would like to break that up into 10 labels of 10,000 contacts each. You would use the end selection tool for this process. Let's take a quick look at statuses. Show contacts will view the label or list directly and display the first 20 pages of contacts. The status dropdown offers status filters that show only the contacts with the particular statuses that is selected. Inactive, invalid, unsubscribe, and complaint statuses are blocked statuses. Any contact with one of these statuses is blocked from receiving email through the account. Engaged status means that the contact has opened or clicked an email in the last six months. Other tools available? For any list or label, you have the option to export contacts, copy contacts to other labels, or delete contacts from the account. For labels specifically, there is an option to simply remove contacts from that label, but not delete them from the account. 
When viewing the contacts for a particular list or label, you can use the Select All option, which will select all the contacts in that list or label that also match the status filters currently applied and will provide a modal of options that are available for those contacts.